at 7 o'clock, we've got Tulsa, who's 1-0, and to Arkansas State, who's 1-0. and Arkansas State favored by 7.5 points on ESPN+. Plus. I forgot to mention this for the last game, but this game, too. Um, and the next game as well, there are elimination games, and I think that's really fun, is that whoever loses this game, I will not be talking about next week. Whoever wins it suddenly it's 2-0, and and it's really interesting. Kirk Francis for the Golden Hurricane went 23-30 through for 299 yards, four touchdowns, zero interceptions. Lloyd Avant had 11 carries for 64 yards, and Zion Steptoe, what are you doing, Steptoe? I'm sorry. <laughs> had five catches for 88 yards. Jalen Rayner, I hardly know her. Oh, my God. I hate myself. Went 24 of 47 last week. Threw for 317 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Jaquez Cross had 13 carries for 50 yards. Corey Rucker had nine catches for 179 yards and a touchdown. Tulsa and Arkansas State are tied all-time 3-3. Last game, game did go to Tulsa in 2021. Four of the six games have been decided by nine points or less. Um, Tulsa also has never won at Arkansas State, so that's a big thing. I was talking a lot about Arkansas State last week, right? I was, I was, I was like, oh my god, this is a team that I think is a little bit of a dark horse to go to for a Sun Belt championship, right? Because I think if you're talking about teams that everyone's eyeing, right? It's it's a lot of App State, it's a lot of James Madison, a little bit of Troy although not anymore, and a little bit of uh, Texas State, because they have a good team there. I think a lot of people forget about Arkansas State, and I said the same thing about Old Dominion last week, but I, I talked a lot about how Arkansas State, I think, is a team that's a dark horse to maybe make a playoff run, like a real, real dark horse, obviously. But the fact is Jalen Rayner is really good. Um, They almost lost to Central Arkansas. Uh, I'm, a, I'm never one to doubt what I said originally, right? Because no one game determines how good someone's seasons are going to go. You're never as bad as you look in a game. You're never as good as you look in a game. And they ended up coming out on top against the Central Arkansas team. But, like, uh, made me doubt a little bit, guys. Um, I still think Tulsa's not a very good squad. I'm a little bit doubting Arkansas State now. Mm. My Old Dominion thing aged tremendously well. Um, and, again, I... I can never overreact by a game you still came out with a win uh it's like when i was like oh no smu almost lost to nevada right like and i'm like uh oh is smu just like really bad i was talking about them being a possible dark horse it's just like don't they still won right in nevada and it's ended up being way better than we thought they were gonna be i mean we'll see they play georgia southern this week they play i think minnesota next week um they have plenty of chances to prove so like I think you can't overreact. I stayed by my initial thing, but I think the talent's there offensively. Um, and honestly, they didn't look bad offensively last game. But it's just like you got to not make mistakes and you got to get stops defensively. So we'll see. I still like Arkansas State as a possible dark horse option. I think they're a solid team. And I think they're better than Tulsa. I think Tulsa's not a good squad. Um, Arkansas State gave me a little bit of room to pause last week, but I'm sticking with my initial thoughts i like arkansas state as a team i think they're going to be good moving forward give me arkansas state to win and cover at home